Okay, sure. So let us do the problem related to more, uh, this first method we discussed that is heat off method. So what are the problems related to heat off method? First one, an aqua solution of silver nitrate containing 1.25 gram of silver uh, salt per 100 gram of uh, solution was electrolyzed between platinum electrode. So first keep on you have to use now the kind of electrode that is used. Here now platinum electrode is used which means inert electrode. That's the first point you can remember. After passing a current for uh, about 2 hours, 20 gram of anodic solution contain 0 0.160 silver nitrate. The mass of copper deposited in the copper voltameter is placed in series was found to be 0 0.0388 gram. Calculate the transport number of silver and nitrate ion in the silver nitrate. The equivalent mass of silver nitrate and copper is given. So now the problem related to problem related to this heat off method has to be done in such a manner you have to consider before hydrolysis before electrolysis and after electrolysis such two parts you have to separate then now you have to do the calculation so let us start first we can consider after electrolysis after electrolysis after electrolysis so first point now you have to consider mass of the anodic solution mass of the anodic solution mass of the anodic solution that means now the mass of the solution which is present after electrolysis that what no mass of anodic solution here that's given in the question look at the question that given it is 20 gram so 20 gram is the mass of the anodic solution now mass of the silver nitrate present that also given mass of silver nitrate present mass of silver nitrate is present which is given 0 0.160 gram this is the mass of silver nitrate that is present now the whole solution contains 20 gram and uh, silver nitrate is 0 0.16 gram 1600 gram means now what is the mass of water mass of water will be equal to mass of anodic solution minus mass of silver nitrate 20 minus 0 0.160 that will give you 19.840 19.840 gram is the mass of water now let us think, think the we have to think about concentration we are we are expressing in no normality so what is the number of gram equivalents next step number of gram equivalents number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate that is present in now let us specify the amount of water here now the amount of water is 19.840 so here we talking about what is the amount what is the uh, what is the gram equivalent it means now concentration what is the gram equivalent of silver nitrate present in this much of water this much specified amount of water 840 gram of water Okay. because now if you want to compare before and after electrolysis you have to specify the amount of water so now number of gram equivalent of silver and gram equivalent you can find by mass of the silver nitrate that is 0 0.160 divided by equivalent mass equivalent mass of silver nitrate that is given 170 gram per equivalent okay 1160 gram divided by 0 0.170 uh, gram per equivalent so you will get an answer around 0 0.00094 0 0.0009412 equivalent will be the equivalent number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate present in 19.840 gram of water so we find the concentration of silver nitrate uh, present in this much of water after electrolysis now consider before electrolysis that's the way you have to you know, proceed the problem after and elect after electrolysis and before electrolysis you have to consider before electrolysis the same thing the mass of anodic solution mass of anodic solution is no is given mass of the solution that is given 100 gram 100 gram was the initial uh, mass of the solution then no, the mass of silver nitrates 
mass of silver nitrate that is present before electrolysis was 1.2377. Please note, no, the mass of silver nitrate is 1.2377. In the problem, it is 1.25. Please make sure it is 1.23. Now, no, next problem, mass of water. What is the mass of water? You have to minus it, 100 minus 1.2377, that will give you 98.76, uh, 98.7623 gram is the mass of water. Now, you have to specify, it. here we are talking about, now the uh, mass of, uh, the gram equal to silver nitrate, after before electrolysis, in a specified amount, here now, the after electrolysis amount of water is 19.840. So you have to consider what is the gram equal to silver nitrate that present in this much of amount of sorry in 19.840 gram of water. Here now you can find the uh, you can find the gram equal to, number of gram equal to of silver nitrates number of gram equal to of silver nitrates silver nitrates will be equal to what mass of silver nitrate is 1.2377 divided by equal mass of silver nitrate that is 90 sorry equal mass of silver nitrate is uh, now before that now you consider the this is the num sorry before that now you find the mass of Yes, you have to find this mass of silver nitrate. Mass of silver nitrate present in this much of amount of water because now you have to uh, you have to make sure you are consider a specified amount of water. So we consider the amount of uh, silver nitrate in 19.840 gram of water after electrolysis means now you have to make it sure you are considering the mass of silver nitrate in this much of amount of water. So it will be now mass of silver nitrate is 1.2377 uh, divided by 1.2377 divided by what is the amount of water present here is 98.7623 you have to multiply by 19.840 that will give you the mass of silver nitrate present in this much of amount of water otherwise now if you uh, 1.23 divided by 98.76 only gives you the mass of silver nitrate in this much of amount of water so here now you have to consider the mass of silver nitrate present in this much of water you have to make it equalize it so that you will get 0 0.2486 0.2486 gram is the mass of silver nitrate present in mass of silver nitrate present in 19.840 gram. Now, now we got the mass of silver nitrate present in that specified amount. Now you can find the number of gram equivalent. Number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate. Silver nitrate present which is equal to mass of silver nitrate we already know 0 0.2486 one second yeah mass of silver nitrate we got 0 0.2486 that is the mass present in mass of silver nitrate present in 19.840 gram of water divided by equal mass of silver nitrate that is now 170 170 gram per equivalence so you now you will get an answer that is around 0.00146 0 0.00146 to equivalence so this is the gram uh, number of gram equal to silver nitrate present in uh, specified amount of water that is 19.840 after sorry before electrolysis before electrolysis so now you got the concentration of silver nitrate before electrolysis and after electrolysis so now what is next step find the transport number transport number will be equal to uh, 
fall in concentration fall in concentration around anode divided by total fall in concentration total fall in concentration so how can you find the fall in concentration around anode you consider the number of gram equivalent before electrolysis and number of gram equivalent after electrolysis so number of gram equivalent before electrolysis minus number of gram equivalent of after electrolysis will give you fall in concentration around anode so that will be equal to 0.001462 minus 0.000 0009412. So this is the falling concentration around anode, which is found by number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate before electrolysis minus number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate after electrolysis divided by total falling concentration. Total falling concentration you can find now given a uh, data is given the the mass of copper that deposited in the copper colometer. Uh, sorry, copper voltmeter that is 0.0388 gram. So that is always proportional to the total current passed through the solution. Because according to Faraday's law, uh, the amount of substance that deposited always proportional to the amount of electricity passed through it. So total current passed through the solution is always proportional to the the mass of substance deposited. Which means now the what is the gram of copper deposited that is given? So now there, before moving into now total falling concentration, you have to find the equivalent mass. What is the number of gram equivalent of copper? Now, so let us find that the number of gram equivalent of copper. Here, no copper depositing as copper uh, from the copper sulfate, right? Yeah. amount of copper deposited will be equal to mass of copper deposited that is 0 0.3 h 0 0.03 h 8 gram that is a mass of copper deposited divided by equal mass of copper equal mass of copper is given 31.77 gram per equivalent that is the equal mass now by uh, now finding that you will get you will get the number of gram equivalent of copper that is equal to 0 0.001 0 0.001 2 to 1 2 to 1 equivalent is the number of gram equivalent of copper so having got this value the number of gram equivalent of copper will be exactly equal to total falling concentration okay because now the here the total current that passes through it will be proportional to the amount of substance that is deposited. So first uh, mass of substance is given, we divide by equal mass will give you the total falling concentration around the both electrode. So substitute this value here, you will get 0 0.001221. Substitute that, you will get an answer you will get an answer around 0 0.4265 0 0.4265 is the transport number of cation having got the transport number of cation you can find the transport number of anion by you now by using the equation 1 minus t plus so 1 minus 0 0.4265 will give you the answer of transport number of anion 0 0.5735 will be the Transport number, transport number of anion. That's the first problem for you. Now let us move to the second problem. Second problem now, what's the problem? A solution of copper sulfate containing 100 gram of the anhydrous salt in 1000 gram of solution was electrolyzed between copper electrode, which means you now here it's not the inert electrode is used, it's a copper electrode is used, which means you now, yes, copper electrode also can or can be oxidized. It's you now it's a possibility that you now this copper also takes part in chemical reaction. So after electrolysis, 55 gram of anode solution was found to contain 5.75 gram of salt during electrolysis 0 0.0047 
Equivalent of silver was deposited in a silver colometer connected in series. So here silver colometer uh, is used, which is connected in series, and to calculate the transport number of cupric and uh, sulfate ion. Equivalent mass is given. So like the same way we proceeding. Uh, consider before electrolysis. Consider after electrolysis first. After electrolysis. So what is the mass of anodic solution? First step, mass of anodic solution. That is given in the problem that is equal to 55 gram. 55 gram is the mass of anodic solution and the mass of copper sulfate. Mass of copper sulfate that is present which is equal to 5.75 gram. So having got these two value, you can find the mass of water. Mass of water which is equal to 55 point, 55 minus 5.75 which is equal to uh, 49.25. 49.25 gram is the mass of water. So now you have to think, now the number of gram equivalent of copper sulfates, number of gram equivalent of Copper sulfate that present in present in 49.25 gram of water. Number of gram equal to copper sulfate present in 49.25 gram of water. That is now you can find mass of copper sulfate is 5.75 divided by equal and mass of copper sulfate. Now that is given 79.77 gram per equivalent. So do this calculation, you will get the what is the number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate after electrolysis. This is 0 0.07215 gram, gram equivalent. That is the number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate after electrolysis. Now consider before electrolysis. Before electrolysis. Before electrolysis, same procedure, mass of solution. Mass of solution will be equal to 1000 gram and the mass of copper sulfate that's given in the question mass of copper sulfate which is equal to 100 gram so mass of water which is equal to 1000 minus 100 which is equal to 900 gram so look at here here now mass of water is uh, 49.25 mass of water is 900 gram. So you have to make it standardized. Now you have to consider the gram equivalent of copper sulfate in a specified amount of water. So make it now 49.25 gram. So for that now what you need to do? For that now you have to uh, <coughs> think what is the mass of copper sulfate? Mass of copper sulfate present in Mass of copper sulfate uh, present in uh, 49.25 gram of water. 49.25 gram of water. That you have to consider. For that, what you need to do? Mass of copper sulfate is 100 gram. Mass of water is now 900 gram into 49.25 will give you the mass of copper sulfate present in 49.25 gram of water. That will be around 5.5. 4722 four, seven, two, two, down. That is the mass of copper sulfate present in uh, 49.25 gram of water. So having got this now you can find the number of gram equivalents. Number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate that you can calculate that is equal to 5.4722 to, to divided by equal and mass of copper sulfate that we already told 79.77 gram equivalent that will be around 0 0.06 0 0.06 860 860 gram 860 equivalent 860 equivalent is the Number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate before electrolysis. Please note the number of gram equivalent of uh, silver copper sulfate 
after electrolysis is higher than number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate before electrolysis sorry copper sulfate before electrolysis why it so because we are here we using copper electrode so copper also getting oxidized to copper 2 plus ion that also uh, getting oxidized in the anode which means now copper copper concentration increases around the anode that's reflected here so here now while doing the problem of uh, in heat of method you have to consider the falling concentration around anode which means now the uh, what is the uh, is exactly you have to think what is the amount of no copper ions that will be moved to the ca uh, cathode no the falling concentration around anode means no the cation that is moved to cathode so what is the falling concentration is there that you have to consider there now how can you find here one clue is given we using a silver colometer and the mass of the uh, the equivalent gram equivalent of silver that is deposit is equal to 0 0.0047 gram equivalent is the silver nitrate so silver ion that is uh, silver that is deposited in the silver colometer so that is exactly equal to the total falling concentration because even they given in the gram equivalent as well so that will be equal to total falling concentration around the both the electrode so you have to consider yes the uh, copper ions are producing from the silver ion as copper ions are producing from the copper electrode as well as now there is a movement of copper ion towards the cathode as well which means you, know, you have to effect you have to consider the effective falling concentration around the anode for that now you have to use this problem So number of gram equivalent of copper deposited, number of gram equivalent of copper that is deposited will be equal to that's given 0 0.0047, 0 0.0047 equivalent is the number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate that is deposited. Okay, number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate that is deposited. So now you have to find the effective falling concentration. Effective falling concentration around anode you have to find. For that now you have to consider the uh, number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate after electrolysis plus the total falling concentration around the both electron minus number of gram equivalent of uh, copper sulfate that is uh, that is present number of gram equal to copper sulfate that is present after electrolysis. So yesterday we discussed the equation x plus z minus y divided by z will be the uh, equation to find the transport number. So effective falling concentration will be equal to 0 0.06860 0 0.06860 plus this is the total falling concentration 0 0.0047 what is this this is the uh, number of gram equivalent of uh, uh, copper sulfate present before electrolysis now this should be minus by 0 0.07 0 0.07 215 right 215 it, 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 what is this value this is the number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate that is present after electrolysis now in other cases if inert electrode is used you can simply use number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate uh, sorry here copper right copper sulfate before electrolysis minus number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate after electrolysis is enough since now here a copper electrode is used you have to consider the total falling concentration effective falling concentration around an anode you have to find so you have to come you have to imagine you now some copper plus two ion are moving towards the cathode at the same time some amount of copper two plus ion producing at the anode as well so that why you now equation is slightly changed you have to add 0 0.06860 which is the uh, the, the M gram, number of gram equivalent of copper sulfate before electrolysis plus total falling concentration minus uh, number of gram equivalent of silver nitrate 
So copper sulfate after electrolysis. So having do that calculation, you will get zero point zero zero one zero point zero zero one one five equivalent is the effective that is the effective falling concentration around the anode so now you can find the transport number transport number you can find by t plus which is equal to the uh, falling concentration 0 0.00115 divided by total falling concentration that is exactly equal to the amount of copper that is deposited 0 0.0047 so do that calculation you will get 0 0.2447 is the transport number of cation having got the transport number of cation you can find the transport number of anion by 1, 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2447 so that will come around 0 0.7553 0 0.7553 is the transport number of anion so you got transport number of transport number of cation you got the transport number of anion so having this value uh, you can find uh, the total falling concentration the what's equation using the you have to find the transport number of cation in a you now in a heat off method it is the falling concentration around anode divided by total falling concentration that will give you the equation to find the transport number of cation once you got the transport number of cation you can find the transport number of anion as well because transport number of cation plus transport number of anion will be always equal to one so having no no that value you know you can find the transport number of anion as well so Okay, that's it. Now, now in the next class, we can discuss the next method. We discuss the heat off method to find the transport number of a particular ion. Similarly, another method is there that we will call moving boundary method to find the transport number of an ion. So, thanks for listening. Please keep learning. We can discuss in the next class.